Hey guys, you might have tried to add face smoothening or face retouching to your Spark AR filter where you also have applied a lot. Yeah, it isn't that simple because you have to do a little workaround and I will show you this in this video. So let's start. So I just set up a basic fast color LUT project here in the Spark AR studio. If you don't know how to do this, I will link a video on this in the video description. Now to add a face retouching to your um, LUT in the Spark AR studio, it is not that simple because you have to do a little workaround. So for this, we have to create at first the retouching material. Just create a new material, go to the shader type and set it to retouching. After this, create another material. I will call this face LUT. Here it is important that you set the shader type to the same shader type as you as you already applied LUT this. So here I have the shader type flat for the LUT material so I will um, set the shader type of the face LUT also to flat. Here the next important thing is to disable the use dev test and the write to dev option here in the advanced render object option. So next step create a new face mesh and set the material of this face mesh to the to the face LUT material. So now you will see this white face um, here in the scene and here and the next step here is to extract the face texture of our face tracker. So just click on the face tracker object, go to the right hand side cl and click on this little plus next to texture extraction. Now you will see the face tracker texture in your textures in the assets panel. Just drag and drop it to your patch editor and then create a new fast color LUT patch by just um, drag and dropping the fast color LUT patch into the patch editor. So now we are almost done. Here we have to connect the RGBA output of our face tracker texture to the input texture of the face color LUT and connect the RGBA output of the LUT to the LUT input of the face color LUT. So the final step here is that we click on the face LUT material and then go to the texture to this little arrow next to it, click on it and then you will see this um, material batch in the batch editor and now you just have to connect the fast color LUT output to the input of this patch and you have successfully added a face retouching to your um, fast color LUT project. But now we are facing two problems. The first is this weird effect on the eyes and the mouth because it's some kind of doubled and we also have this black little line on the chin. So here we'll see this black line here on the chin. And yeah, we will get rid of both. So to get rid of this effect on the eyes and the mouth, just go to the face mesh object and disable eyes and mouth here. Now you will see that this is gone. And now we will get rid of this little line under the chin. For this I have linked you a file in the video description, just download it. And then after you have downloaded it, just drag and drop this smooth face.png to your project. After the import is done, click on it and enable no compression here. After you have enabled no compression, go to the face LUT material and here enable alpha and here go to texture and select the smooth face texture you have just imported and now the black line is gone. And yeah, now we have successfully added a face smoothening to our LUT project here in Spark AR. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, it would be nice if you subscribe to this channel and yeah, see you next time. Bye.